And so I got my cart, and I'm down at Gelson's, and I'm pushing it through, and I turn around because I'm, I'm sort of, the Lord's made me this way. It's kind of my evangelistic heart. And I notice this uh, brother and, and a sister and two brothers behind me. And I turned around and went, hey. And I looked in their cart, and they, they literally had five gallons of, of uh, vodka, the big gallon ones. Uh-huh. And then they had all the mixes. And you've got food in your I got basket, food in and they mine, got booze they, in their they got booze. And I, I just looked at him and said, thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement, yeah. And she looks at me and goes, oh, well, it's the holidays, and this is the only way we get through in our family. Oh, oh my. And I looked at her and I said, you know, there's another way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she just, you know, well, you don't, you don't know, you know my brother. Rah, 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 rah. And I said, well, you know, before Christ came in my life, I was your brother. Mm-hmm. But that got her attention. It did. And she was just like not sure how to, to respond. And I said, well, have, a, have a great holiday. Mm-hmm. You know, so find something in your brother that you used to love and tell him about it. Wow. I wonder, Instead of pointing out, yeah. which is obvious, that he's a broken guy. Mm-hmm. And that she's a broken girl. That's exactly right. In a relationship Tr- together, trying to fit their broken pieces together, That's wondering right. why it doesn't work, why wondering why those jagged edges of those broken pieces keep wounding each other. Yeah. My. And see, the reason why bitterness uh, makes us a prisoner is because most people are waiting for the person that hurt them to have this revelation right. moment. the aha. Uh-huh. And come and go, I was the worst father. Mm-hmm to you and would you forgive me i'm willing to make it up to you for the next 20 years 